Hi, I'm Tom D, and in this video series, I want to show you how to efficiently export data from Elasticsearch outside to the file. In this part, I will focus on Logstash. Logstash is a part of Elkastack. Usually, it is used to load logs to Elasticsearch. But in this video, I want to show you how to export data from Elasticsearch using that tool. Let's start. Docker network create logstash. Create doc volume alt config. This volume I will use to keep configuration data of Elasticsearch. So this configuration data and certificates that will be generated will be accessible from Logstash later on. You can see that I'm using this Logstash network and here I'm mounting the alt config under the configuration catalog. Also, I changed default value for max content length because I will use the file that is more than 100 megabytes and 100 megabytes is a default value for that. Let's start it. Now Elasticsearch is started. Open another terminal window. Click yes and set up your password. Now password is reset so you can access Elasticsearch with Elastic user and your password. Now is the time to load data. I prepared a file that contains 1 million rows and here you are. This is the curl command I'm using to submit this file to Elasticsearch. This um, index will contain the start connection, one field with date and another field with connection name with some string over there. I will not use any replicas because it's a one node cluster, so I don't want to have a yellow status. And number of shards is just one because the one million uh, documents definitely fitting in one shard. So it can be like this. Let's submit this command. Mapping is created now. So the second command you will run is to load Important is to keep the data binary because there are new line characters and you want to preserve them due to a characteristic of a bulk API. And here content type is application and the JSON. Okay, let's start it. It will load right now all the records to Elasticsearch, all the documents. There's like 1 million documents. So it will take a little. Okay, it's done after a few seconds. Now to check if the shard is created with this one million amount of documents you can run the command that will display the shards and filter the shards by index name connections here there is a shard that contains one million documents and it has 33 megabytes of data that is taking from the disk so data is loaded right now before starting the log stash first you will prepare the configuration configuration for pipeline. In this case, you specify your host for Elasticsearch, user, password, the SSR certificate, and that's why I mounted the ALK config volume. Therefore, you can access trust store that was generated in Elasticsearch container. And here, SSA enabled as true, verification mode I set up to none because for that testing purpose, it's okay. Index is connections, because this index you want to pull, query match all, scroll mode and no filtering output as JSON file. This is the configuration and now you can start Logstash. Name of the network, expect monitoring disabled to false so it will not try to connect to Elasticsearch for monitoring purposes. This is the path. It will mount this file, this configuration file into pipeline catalog that uh, is expected to have configuration files for pipeline. Notice that here the alt config is mounted so this log stash can access the certificate. Let's start it. Once it's started it's automatically running the job, the pipeline and here you can see on the screen it's exporting all these documents to the JSON file. 
processing is done, now it's closing file. To see that file, you can go to logstash container and here you can go to this catalog. And here you have the output file. You can see that data is now exported from Elasticsearch to JSON file using Logstash. One million records.